Hi, I'm Lee Wind, an author. And I'm Paul Zielinski, an illustrator. And we're here to share with you for Barnes & Noble Storytime, our book, Red and Green and Blue and White. But first, Paul, your shirt is really cool. Well, thanks, Lee. Nice you mentioned it. My shirt actually happens to go with this book in a special way because I had the shirt made from part of the picture that I put in the book. See all these people, these red people linking arms in community? That's an image that's in the book. And when Lee reads the book, you might, if you're sharp eyed, you might get a chance to see it. And I'm wearing my favorite shirt too, which just coincidentally is red and green and blue and white. So let's get started, let's read it. Red and green and blue and white by me and Paul. Inspired by a true story. On a block dressed up in red and green, one house shone blue and white. Isaac helped his family decorate their big window for Hanukkah. Across the street, his best friend Teresa helped her family trim their Christmas tree. Isaac wrote poems, and here's his poem. Berries, pine, sky, snow, colors everywhere I go. And Teresa made art. They both loved playing in the snow, counting down to the holidays, six nights till Hanukkah, 23 days till Christmas, and thought you couldn't have too many sprinkles on a cookie. When it got dark, Teresa flipped the switch and her house glowed red and green. Across the street, Isaac lit his family's decorative menorah and his house glowed blue and white. And here's Isaac's poem, blue and white menorah light. Later, when it was dark and everyone was asleep, shadows approached Isaac's house. Smash, the window shattered, a stone, shards of glass falling. And Isaac, wide awake, watched their menorah flicker out. The adults talked and talked. You'll sleep in our room for now, his dad told Isaac and his sister. Isaac's mom asked, should we light the menorah again? If they didn't, Isaac knew it would be like hiding they were Jewish. That didn't feel right. The next night, Isaac lit the menorah and through the new window, his house glowed. And here's Isaac's poem blue and white, menorah light, shining bright. Across the street, Teresa watched the menorah come on and let out a breath. <sighs> she hadn't known she was holding. She took out paper and markers and drew. When she was done, Teresa added two words and put the drawing up in the window. For Isaac. Through the paper, the light shone blue and white. Isaac saw the drawing and ran outside. And here's a poem from Isaac, blue and white, menorah light from two homes tonight. The idea grew with more drawings. Their friends joined in. Then their school and their library. Local stores joined in and restaurants and clubs. It was on TV 
and in the newspaper. Three weeks after Isaac and his family stood tall and Teresa and her family stood up by their side, their whole town was dressed up to celebrate the true spirit of the holidays, the true meaning of community. From more than 10,000 windows came Christmas tree and menorah light, red and green and blue and white, stronger together, shining bright. Recognize that? And that's red and green and blue and white. And one of the cool things that they were able in the real story to that really happened was put up 10,000 images of menorahs all over the town. And one of the ways they did that was that the local newspaper, the Billings Gazette, published a full page image. This is a copy of it, of the, an editorial and this image of the menorah. And it, everybody in the town that got the paper was able to put this up in their window. And, Paul did this beautiful thing on the final author's note page. There is a little illustration of Teresa opening the paper and seeing that illustration. And then Paul, you have an activity, right? Oh, there was something you wanted to show us first. Yeah, something else, even something sort of uh, from the book, like you showed the uh, original Billings um, menorah page well i just wanted to point out how when i made this picture for the cover of the book i hoped that they could make it in a special way and they did because they were able to put a coating over the part of the picture where there's glass and not where there's a hole in the glass and that makes it shiny like real glass so to me this is a really cool cover because it's like the real piece of broken glass in Isaac's window. This isn't a scene that really happened in the book. This has every Isaac and Teresa here and the community standing around them uh, and the broken glass that we're seeing it through. But then I thought, I don't want the glass to stay broken. So underneath the jacket, the glass has been fixed, no more hole in the glass, and it's late at night and everybody's gone home. So that's the cover of the book. I love and, that. That's so cool. Okay, Lee. Yep, we're going to have the activity now, the fun activity, and it's going to be a drawing activity because drawing is what I like to do. And it's based on the page in the book with all of the windows having Christmas trees and one having a menorah. Only it's not going to be drawing on the book. It's going to be drawing on a sheet of paper that I made up for you like this. And you should be able to get a sheet like this if you have a grown-up who has a computer printer. They can either download the image from the YouTube instructions that you should see down here on the screen, or maybe they can go to the Barnes & Noble website, bn.com slash storytime, and scroll down to this episode, and then they can download the picture and print it, and then you will have a page like this too, just like this. Now you see there are all the windows here, and they're all empty. You're waiting for something to go in them. And you could make a picture just like what's in the book, in this book, and show one house that has a menorah and all the others. You could draw Christmas trees. Or you could do something sort of the same but a little different. Suppose you put one Christmas tree in this house and all the rest had menorahs. Or you could do it differently and you could put all the rest having kinaras in, and one Christmas tree and one menorah maybe. There are lots of things you could do, but I think what would be interesting would not to be not to draw about holidays, but about other things. Because the story is really about how different people are different from each other, but they all live together in one community. So how about thinking about something, something that you like, that maybe other people don't like, and you live all in the same community anyway. Maybe you like cats 
and you don't care for dogs, and your neighbors all like dogs and they don't care for cats. You have a cat, make a cat in one window. All the other windows could have dogs. Or maybe you like dolls and you don't care for trucks and everyone around you likes trucks and they don't like dolls. You could put your favorite doll in a window and all the trucks around in the other windows. Or you could make it the other way around. So I'm going to be doing some drawing too, so you can see me draw. And let's do this drawing. Let's do it. All right, here's the paper and all these empty windows and my crayon, and I'll start drawing something. What is this? What do you think? It is the cab of a truck. It's pretty boring watching somebody draw, right? I'm going to speed this up. It's a tow truck. A few more details, other crayon. And what's this? Maybe a flatbed truck. Green truck. This one. Maybe you know this kind of truck. One of my favorites. It was an ice cream truck. And this is a tow truck, dump truck. And here is the one and only doll picture. So that was one. Those were crayons. How about colored pencils? The colored pencil has to be sharp. Here's my sharpener. It makes shavings. And my first pencil turned out to be pretty much of a light color that you can't see very well. After a little of this, I'm going to have to get a darker color color in with a darker red. Now you see it a little bit better, but it's still not that interesting to watch, but it's fun to do. But I'm going to speed it up, got to speed up this taping. And um, I think you'll see me drawing a little bit faster than I really draw. Eyes are important, but watch this. Yellow cap. Actually, that first drawing and this drawing, they took about half an hour. Here's the dog coming in. Probably should have drawn it last, but draw do it second. And all the other cats, different colors. Some have stripes, different color backgrounds. Some are stretching. A lot of them will be sleeping like this one. Cats like to sleep, right? Dogs don't. And a little more after the colored pencil. I'll do one more and it will be watercolor. Here's the colored pencil and now the watercolors are starting. You've got to get the paints wet to work. You can see what these are. A trick that artists use is a hair dryer to get the paint to dry faster and I'm using white paint because if I'm going to paint red over the green uh, trees, it'll show up better if I have white underneath. And the final thing is a menorah. So they're all different kinds of pictures you can do. These were mine. 